All right, so if you go to Best Buy and you get a remote start like this, you won't really get any directions on how to install it yourself if that's what you want to do. I installed it myself and it's been working fine. So I'm going to show you how I did it. The first thing you're going to need to do is they won't sell it to you without your harness that your car needs. They, they'll tell you if it's compatible, but just make sure you get like your car's harness with it. And if they don't, just ask them for it and they'll, they'll sell you the harness that you need. The second thing you need is this wire right here. And I'll put the link in the description. You actually can't just plug this into your car and it works. You have to put the car's like specs on the module and flash that on. Once you have that, you go to this website, you press flash your module, and it'll say, don't have web link desktop application, get it now. Once you get it, open it up, and then you'll plug it in, and it'll come up right here. And then it'll ask you what the year making model of your car is. It'll recommend what firmware you have to put on it. it. It gives you the options to configure any settings. Like, I don't know, it just gives you like different options. I'll put pictures on the screen. And then you just press flash, and then you unplug it. This is the wiring for the module. It says like orange, accessory, red, power, purple, starter. And a bunch of these, you actually won't need them. When you flash it in the weblink software, right after you flash it, it'll tell you exactly which wires you'll need and where those wires are located in your car and what color those wires are in your car. If you want to, you can cut off any single wire that you don't need. For example, my Subaru doesn't have a trunk release option, so it didn't ask for this wire to be connected. So I just cut it off. If you wanna save it for another car, you can just leave it on, but I cut it off. Once you do that to kinda of like clean up your wires, if you choose to do so, you're ready to connect it to your car. And literally all you'll do is It'll give you the wiring diagram for your car and then you just you just match them. So right here it says M101 is orange and accessory. And then it'll give you the diagram of your car and it'll say accessory wire located at the ignition and it's the color yellow. So all you would do is match this orange one to the yellow and connect them together. And then you move down and it's, it says red power, right? And then you look at your other diagram and it'll say like 12 volt, you can get it on an orange cable at, located at the ignition. You just match them. Once you match those, if you have an automatic transmission, you're gonna cut this loop right here. When you get it, it's gonna be set for a manual transmission. And if you have a manual transmission, don't cut it. Once you connect all of these together, you turn the car on and you follow these steps right here. And I'll just leave this on the screen for a second. At this point, you would have already done this. You would have already done this. You would have done this as well. So then once it's all in, you turn your car on and you see if the module turns green and then turns off. If that happened, then it's programmed and then you can move on to the next step. So you're done with this. The next thing is the tack learning procedure. And you literally just follow these steps right here. So you start the vehicle, you put your foot on the brake and then you press and release the programming button on the module. And then it'll flash green twice. If it doesn't, just follow these steps right here. And then for the remote, you just turn the key to off, on, off, on, off, on five times. You press the button on your remote and then you press the button on, if you have a second remote, on the second remote and it'll connect both of them. And you just literally have to follow like what's on this. This is this is what was what I just said that was written. This is also what was just written. It's just in picture form now. So yeah, it's not that difficult. Once you get the guide of like where your wires are, and once you have this guide of what these wires are, and then once you find out how to like do the programming right here, it's actually pretty easy. And then you can do it as careful as you want and run the wires exactly how you want. And you won't have to pay someone to do it for you. I'll see if I can put some pictures in uh, to help. But yeah, that's that's how I did it. Thanks for watching.